Hi, if you're interested in a closer look at my Dooney and Burke Scotty Dog collection, stay tuned for the lowdown. Hi, this is Says What. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate all my subscribers and all of you who interact with me. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. So I have two Dooney and Burke Scotty Dog bags. The first we'll talk about is this really cute white drawstring bag. I will annotate the dimensions and the strap drop on the screen. So if you're not familiar with the Scotty Dog collection. It came out several years ago. I want to say around 2011. I got both of my bags on the resale market because I wasn't collecting Doonies then. This bag has the great strap and this one came with an extra piece that still has the tag in it. Instead of a Dooney and Burke patch, it has this really cute dog bone with as a hang tag that I think is just adorable. Here's the back. Um, the word Dooney is written on the, the food bowl there. You can see the pattern a little bit better on the back, I think. Um, you know, there's cute Scotty dogs everywhere and dog bones and things like that. It fits over your shoulder, but you have to thread it through. And there's not a lot of clearance there, but it will stay on my shoulder. Characteristic of this collection is the tartan interior. I guess to go with the Scottish theme. This one has a small pouch, probably for the size of cell phones back then. And it has a zipper pouch, if you can see that on the back wall. So that is my Dooney Scotty drawstring. I usually have this stuffed better. Mine is in pretty good shape. Um, this is made of coated cotton and in this iteration of Dooney coated cotton the whites had a tendency to yellow and the coated cotton had a tendency to cloud or film over. Oh, here's the bottom. My ring light is making it difficult for me to see if I have any of those cloudy areas. I guess right about here. But overall, I think my bag is in great shape. This is a really fun bag for, um, I usually carry it in the summer. I forget how much I paid for that um, drawstring bag. It was my first ever eBay purchase and I think I wanted it so bad that I ended up bidding against myself somehow, but I ended up getting it. <laughs> this one I got on Poshmark several years ago for $35 and I love it. It's a small tote. I think it's about the size of the small leisure shopper. Maybe rough, I don't have one of those, but um, maybe it might be a little bit smaller than that. I'll annotate the dimensions for this one as well. It has two shoulder straps. And again, it fits over your shoulder 
but you do have to thread it on there. There's a little bit more of a shoulder drop there. This one, like the white one, has the really cute hang tag with the bone. And it's the same pattern, but it has a red background. It's the bottom. Here's the back. This one has the tartan interior, the same small cell phone. And this one has a slip pocket that you can see a little bit easier. Both of them have leather key keepers with matching hardware although this one doesn't really have any hardware on it to match. Here's the key keeper on the white one, and it does match the hardware. This one shows a little more of the problems with the coated cotton. This isn't a glare from my ring light. This is where the coated cotton is um, kind of pulling away from the glazing of the, co the coated cotton. I have a few more spots here and there, but they're not very noticeable, especially on the ring light. You can't really see them. I love this bag. I like to carry it this time of year. It has kind of a holiday festive feel to it, especially with the tartan interior. I bought an X-Acto knife. So for the past year or so on some of the Dooney Facebook groups, people have been finding uh, coated cotton from, you know, this time period, 2011 or so, back when the whites would yellow and look really cloudy. And when the things I pointed out on my bags start to happen, you know, they've been buying the bags for really great deals on the secondary market. And then they take an X-Acto knife and peel off the coating. This leaves you with not a coated cotton bag, but a plain cotton bag but they look incredible. And I bought the X-Acto knife with the intention of trying it on my bag. But when I looked at my bags a little closer, mine didn't look bad enough that I needed to operate on them. I think if I do do this, I'll wait until after my cataract surgery because the theory is I'll see better <laughs> then. I would hate to mess them up. If you're interested in seeing um, some of those coated cotton projects where people have taken off the coating, let me know and I can point you to them or get pictures for you. So here's one last look at my coated cotton for the moment. <laughs> Dooney and Burke Scotty Dog Bags. I hope you liked the video and I really appreciate you watching. Please take care everyone. See you.